American leadership is important now probably more than it ever has been. During the Cold War, the United States had an adversary, the Soviet Union, but it was an adversary more or less in the military space. The world has changed a lot since the fall of the Berlin Wall. This is far different from the Cold War and it's far more concerning for those who look to a world leader, a world leader like the United States. One of the best ways that the United States can harness the incredible power of emerging technologies is to have universities, research labs, and geniuses collaborate with universities and research labs and geniuses in other countries. The more that we expand the pool and broaden the conversation and discussion and experimentation in new forms of technologies, the better products we're going to get. When the United States takes the lead in doing that, it posits that there are certain moral codes that are followed in the deployment of technologies of the future. And so it, there's no holding back genius. It's really important though that geniuses gather in a way that will improve the world, save the world, change the world for the better, rather than falling into hands of evil geniuses who might have nefarious ideas otherwise. America led industrial innovation in the 20th century and into the 21st century. But the 21st century changed things a lot. Because of America's ties around the world, to countries around the world, to leaders around the world, and to scientists and technologists around the world, the landscape of technological development into the 21st century has been a remarkable thing to behold. Innovation is no longer held only in the United States. Innovation can be driven out of any corner of the earth, out of any university, out of any corporation, out of any garage. When we think about things like the COVID pandemic, and Operation Warp Speed, which brought to market uh, vaccinations in record speed. We look at efforts like that and say, the next mRNA vaccine should come out of countries like our allies around the world. Uh, we had mRNA vaccines in America, in the UK, in Germany. How about we expand that pool to include companies in our hemisphere, closer to home, or companies in allied countries, Japan, Korea, Australia, Israel. Americans stand in a unique place in world history. Even Americans who on a day-to-day -day basis don't focus on the role of America in the world have an important role to play by virtue of being Americans, by virtue of being able to speak as Americans in a way that resonates around the world. The world looks at America and says, I want to be like that. I want to be free thinking. I want to have my speech protected. I want to be creative in a way that isn't dictated to me. And so the average American who doesn't think much about the rest of the world on a regular basis, simply by virtue of being somebody who represents the United States, is a symbol to the rest of the world of what freedom looks like and how important that is. 
We all remember the garage technologies of amazing American companies like Apple. But at the same time, there are great innovators across Africa, across the Middle East, across Asia and Latin America. We should be harnessing and embracing the incredible technologies that are coming out of places that aren't the United States. And we should be as the global leader in innovation, finding ways to invest in those new innovative technologies. This is the wave of innovation that we want to see and we should absolutely be supportive of around the world.